All right, guys, this is Roderick Carter for House of Fat Productions. And um, on this video, I'm going to talk about MIDI. I have a friend of mine who sent me a MIDI file. And in the MIDI file, um, of course, is all the work he did. But I'm going to show you what I do to break that MIDI file apart. A lot of people don't know how to do this. So I'm, I'm logged into Cubase. I'm going to go over here and go to empty. And I'm going to find a spot on one of these hard drives. Um, I think he's on four. And I'm going to make a folder, the name of the song. Oh, can't spell. So I've created a folder with the name of the song and I'm going to go ahead and save it. Oops. Now, all I need to do now is I'm going to make sure this is on one. Make sure my left in uh, left locator is on one okay I'm gonna go to make sure your left locator is on one and I'm gonna go to file import import MIDI file it's gonna say do you want to create a new project no I do not I want to add it to this project okay And so now what I want to do now is I want to take this MIDI file and I want to dissolve parts. So I'm going to go up here to MIDI and dissolve part and I want to separate the channels. So it's going to take all of those, all of that MIDI information and it's going to separate it into various channels. So we see we have MIDI channel 2, MIDI channel 3, MIDI channel 9, MIDI channel 10. 11 and 12. Now, based on the listing he gave me, MIDI channel 2 should be bass. So I'm going to name that bass. MIDI channel 3 should be piano, acoustic, piano. MIDI channel 9, he has labeled as strings in the email that he sent me. And MIDI channel 10, he has labeled as percussion. Eleven is also labeled as percussion. And twelve is the main drum. Now he sent these files to me because I'm going to work on the files. I'm going to learn the song and redo the song basically. Um, now if I wanted to I can click on this drum kit and I can go back up here to MIDI and say dissolve part by pitches and that'll separate the kick drum and snare let's go ahead and do that so I'm going to go ahead and say OK and it looks like I have two things I don't know what they are yet um, I won't know what they are until I actually sign an instrument to them and play it So I'm going to solo this bass track. Let me get a loop going here. And he also told me the tempo is 110.9. I'm not sure why the MIDI file doesn't have that in there. Most of the time it's stored with the MIDI file, but in this case it was not stored with the MIDI file. see it's playing a piano that's because when it loaded up Halion SE um, it loaded up it grand pianos and everything but we know that MIDI channel 2 is a bass so I can go down here to MIDI channel 2 and I'm going to search for basses 
and I'll start with uh, electric finger bass. <laughs> instruments right now so I can see um, get a general consensus of what the song sounds like okay so we'll leave that there strings is on MIDI channel 9 uh, let's start with string ensemble Of course, that's probably not the best string selection. Okay. Okay. Now, notice that <coughs> even though I put my mar left marker on one that this still put the uh, MIDI before one I want it right on one okay percussion hmm percussions on MIDI channel 10 um, let's see they got the general MIDI kit okay I'll leave that in there for now and I believe 11 also has percussion So the drums are going to MIDI channel 12, both of these. So let me go to 12 and pull up another drum set. Same one. And right now I'm just using the Halion just to kind of get the right things going on. And this doesn't sound right. Let's try and take it down on the, uh, the whole octave. So that's how you get them take your MIDI files and kind of bust them up so that you can start working with them. You can um, change different sounds. I can use some of my native instrument stuff or I can, um, you know, replay the stuff, learn the different parts, replay them, um, jazz it up and maybe even add some other instruments to it. And that's all we're going to talk about in this video. I don't want the videos to be too long. We took a MIDI file. We loaded it in. It, all of the information was in one file, but we busted it up and put it into Cubase. And now we can manipulate that data. We got everything separated. We can change the different sounds. And um, we can go from there. hope this has been helpful.